Hey, yo, if these names come across your desk, you might want to slide them back up. Brought it to you first, that make it exclusive. It's for members only, you're probably not included. First watch, find this on the hang with shooters. If I pop out with this cannon, then we gon' make a new year. I come through a gang on them and bang on them. Hanging out the window and put that flame on them. Anybody get these bullets, ain't got names on them. Would you like to subscribe and hit the play button? Yeah. Yo, yo. Wes, Wes, Wes. Hand and dope. We are back, baby. Shout out my subscribers. Everybody rocking with they boy. Like the video on your way in. Share the broadcast. You heard me? Because over here, we don't jersey. And, hey. I just wanted to holler at y'all real quick, but you know West West Wednesday is about to go down. And uh, today we're doing a little earlier about 4.30 due to the Lakers schedule, just so y'all know. So when you tap in for West West Wednesday, it's going to be about 4.30 today, all right? Maybe 4, something like that, because the game come on early. But anyways, hey, shout out to y'all, though. I was just thinking, man. I was sitting here chilling, man. I was, you know what I mean, just going through the battlers that were, like, kind of in their moment right now, kind of like, you know, just, like, tripping, like, dangerous. And I came across these four names. And I was like, these names you might want to avoid. You know, right now in Battle Rap. The first name I came across was Real Sick. Real Sick is, I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but ever since that Shine battle, ever since that Shine battle, when Real Sick chilled for a minute and he came back, right, his bars, they hidden harder. His aggression, it's more aggressive. His confidence, through the roof. He's just, you could tell real sick his elevated, dog. That shine lost to him, you know what I'm saying? And him being kind of felt like he was kind of lightweight set up or however it went, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it really taught him something, you know what I'm saying? You know when they say some of them certain ass women teach you something? I think that ass whooping taught Sick something, man, because Sick been tripping in the two-on-two. -two. He was the man in that two-on-two -two when it was him and uh, Luke Castro versus DNA and Charlie. Real Sick was the one that was tripping. Real Sick had some crazy stuff. Man. Pick it off. What do you say? Something about the intuition? Oh, my God. I ain't, I ain't even going to jump into it because my mind ain't there yet, but I'm telling you all now. Stay away from Real Sick. Just stay away from him right now, especially them head ups, because he going he gonna hurt somebody. Um, the second name came across my desk: New Jersey twerk, dog. Shh, I ain't gonna lie, man. If you ain't paying attention to what New Jersey twerk is doing right now, then you somewhere just under the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Like not even a rock, the ocean, because. Twerk has been tripping on every single person you put in front of him, whether it's a one-rounder on a small league or somebody on the big stage or the small room and on the big in the big league. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter where you put him, Matt. He's been tripping. No choking, no stumbling, ass whoopings. Ass whoopings. Now, people have been fighting back. Look at Ryan. I ain't shout out to everybody he battled. He ain't been, you know what I'm saying? He ain't been fighting back. But Twerk been tripping. He ain't lost nothing. You know what I'm saying? Arguably ain't lost to Brandt. So you want to keep it G. Only one I would say he lost a round to was Real Sick. Real Sick had one. Uh, I think it was a second, I think it was. Yeah, he Real Sick had one. That's why I said Real Sick Dangerous right now. But anyway, Twerk right now has a mission. Twerk sees the light. The URL is actually his right now for the taking. So he's taking advantage of every opportunity. He has the hunger back. He has this new motivation. I don't know what it is, but it's there and we love it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he's doing right now, keep doing it. He got Chef Trez coming up. Pretty sure that's going to be crazy because both of them is my dog. And they both be snapping. You know what I'm saying? So I'm expecting that to be crazy. But Twerk right now has a mission. A mission to become that number one spot he never got, that he never achieved, that he felt like he should have got. You jump in front of Twerk right now, you're going to be part of that mission. <laughs> I'm telling you that. You're part of that mission. You're just a boop, boop, a bowling pin. Shout out to Ann Wire, his manager. You a bowling pin right now. You jump in front of Twerk. I'm telling you now, dog. 
I'm just, man, I can't, I can't put it no other way. He, he didn't win against different kind of competitions. He came back. It don't matter. He's been snapping at a certain level for everybody. Just facts. Don't get mad at the messenger. Don't get mad at the messenger. We ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? This is the truth. I'm just letting y'all know, man. And if you, some people might want to take my advice. If you don't, you don't. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass whooped. But I'm just letting you know. You might want to stay away from twerk right now. But anyways, we on to the next. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those. One of those. We got to say this. Get you got me, dog. Hey, I don't know if y'all been paying attention. I don't know if y'all seen that bad news battle. I don't know if y'all seen the FIBU battle. I'm telling you now, Keechi ain't giving no slack to nobody. Nobody. Dog, he started off the year kind of late. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really start the year. I think he started until like March or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he said, you know what I'm saying? He had a certain feeling. He had something to prove again. They forgot who I am. You know what I'm saying? And I talked to him. You know what I'm saying? Off cam, we was chilling at, 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 one, at the event. And he has the hunger to prove and show y'all that he's still him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the three-time Cody for a reason. Just because I was chilling and wasn't really taking everybody serious because I did what I did, don't mean I'm not him still. And that's the kind of mission he's on. Now, this year, you know, uh, FIBA with him had a good one. FIBA did his thing. FIBA did his thing. But I don't think FIBA was expecting Geechee to take that that serious. I don't think he was. Geechee took that serious and went crazy. It was a one, but Geechee snapped in that one rounder. You know what I'm saying? Like snapped. And then the bad news battle. <sighs> the, you could argue and say it's a gentleman's 30. Only one you could argue is the first. You know what I'm saying? And that's debatable. The rest of the two was clear. Money on the line. He made news look regular, dog. You know what I'm saying? He made news look like. Like, that's what News been doing since he got out of bags and body. He been doing that at a high level, just against other people. When he got against that Geechee Gotti on a high level, it didn't even look fire. I mean, it didn't even look like, um, my bad, I don't say fire, but I'm saying it didn't look as hot as it did versus everybody else. <laughs> that's about the best way I can put it, dog. I ain't lying, News. Don't get mad at me, nigga. Look, it was, it was good. I'm not lying. I'm not saying that. It's just when you jump in front of somebody who has that, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's hard to overcome, you know what I'm saying? And and Geechee's been using that to his advantage. And he plans on using it probably the rest of the year. Um, when I talked to him, it sounded like he was just on a personal mission for himself to, you know what I'm saying, let, her, like, let himself know that he's still him. And, uh, you know, the people are going to find out in the process. But um, I don't know. He's just been snapping. So if I was your eyes, I would even Geechee got it, dog. And, uh... The the fourth, the fourth person, the fourth person. You know what I'm gonna say? It is. It's got to be easy to block captain, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be easy to block captain. I can't lie. I mean, he's a. Uh, he's just learning so much all the time. Now he's on the camera and the media, killer stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, talking a lot, learning. Dealing with people, building this channel. Now he just, you know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, I think he's just, he learned the game as he went, took his time. And I think he's just mastering his craft and his lane. And it's going to be hard to knock him out of his lane like that, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you battle him, man, like, you got to come with fire three rounds because you know what he's going to do too. And it's going to be hard to overcome the fact that he's going to be fire or have moments in his battle. You got to have those too. But most people are still probably going to ride with him just because he didn't fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not going to just get murdered. I don't see him just getting murdered. So I would think he would have to like mess up in his battle or something for somebody to say he lost. Because they're going to like his rounds. They love his material. They like how he rap. They like what he talks about. Sometimes he don't even talk about his opponent. And they loving it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a moment. So I believe that what he raps about is automatically a win for his fan base and them because they love it. As long as he don't choke a stumble, they're going to love what the fuck he does. And he has a great fan base. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm saying, to be the easy, the block captain right now, you're going to have to really be on your stuff. I'm going to tell you like this, though. It's people that's in line to battle him that I don't feel like it's going to beat him. I don't feel like Shotgun Shit is going to beat him. I don't feel like John John is going to beat him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I don't think Mook is going to beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like, only my, only person, not, only people I think that got the best action at him 
is the rum nitty or Gucci Gotti. Uh, somebody that's, you know what I mean, can match some of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like all the way through. And I think Tay Rock can get him. You know what I'm saying? I think Tay Rock can get him. So, I mean, besides that, I don't think nobody else really going to get him like that. No, I ain't going to lie. Oh, maybe Twerk. You know what I'm saying? Twerk might get him too. So, because Twerk got that energy. Twerk can shake the room with him. You know what I'm saying? So, he got action. But I don't see them battles happening no time soon. So, I ain't think about them. But as far as like really just beat, like the battles that he's going to take right now, unless it's the big battles, I don't think none of those people are going to beat him anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because... He's just too good at what he does. I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man. Did I name them f top four, four top most dangerous battlers right now? And you know what? Let me throw something else in there. The Bricks. <laughs> Watch out for all the Bricks, y'all. Right? That's all I'm going to say. The Bricks be out here tripping, you heard me? First Watch Finders. Holla at me in the comments. Bumpy Bars. West West Wednesdays in a few. And over here, what up? Salute to Bumpy Bars. He said advice like this from Vada helped him start his channel. And Bumpy Bars should be easily over 5,000 subscribers now. Salute to Bumpy Bars. Subscribe. Oh, man, it's your boy, New Jersey Turk, man. New Jerusalem, man. Make sure y'all tune in to First Watch Finest, man. You heard it here first, man. Jersey. Jersey.